Hello everyone, it is Saturday and I am actually throwing a dinner party in my house for um, the leadership at my work. So um, we've got a chef who's coming to cook for us and do all those things. Don't worry about my voice. Um, I don't know what's going on with, I've got this cough and I lost my voice, but I feel totally fine. So anyway, <clears throat> so here I am. He's going to start serving us in half an hour and I'm eating chicken and Brussels sprouts. I was getting ready for this all day, so I'm kind of behind on my meals, which is fine because I'm saving carbs and fats for this meal a little bit. Um, since I was the one who planned it, I got to choose the menu, so I chose some stuff for them, but he's going to make some special stuff for me. Um, and some of the stuff I'm just going to have like a taste of and like that'll be enough. So I will take a couple pictures, maybe videos, but I'm going to be rude with the other people at the table. But um, you still got to live your life when you're on prep, just like you still have to live your life when you're on a diet. You just figure it out. Stay tuned. <laughs> guys I am going to give you an update while I have my burger in a bowl um it is Sunday day 14 um so I'm finishing or I'm on week two finishing week two I don't know anyway 14 days <coughs> so as you can hear um my little naggy cough thing that I've been dealing with this week <coughs> is actually full bronchitis. So I actually feel fine, which is good, but um, I sound like death. My cough sounds terrible. It's worse at night. I'm trying to use my inhaler and I'm like chugging NyQuil and DayQuil. So it is what it is. Um, so I haven't really uh, wanted to do very many updates because like you can hear my voice it sounds terrible but with this week ending I kind of wanted to let you know how the week has gone um if you watched my last video I had a day off this week did some self-care just like got shit done and I tell you what that was so good for me mentally because I have just been going 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 for the past several months and like can't seem to like feel like I'm making any progress with anything so I mean there's still I didn't even get as much done as I wanted to but it was good to at least have a minute to like do some things <coughs> so that was good um I will start filming some of the workouts <coughs> I just with this, it, <coughs> it wasn't going to be good. Um, but I did do my workouts. I didn't miss any of the workouts. Didn't miss any of my steps. Um, yeah. So, I had my check-in this past Thursday because I check in twice a week. Checked in Thursday and, I don't know, my weight was kind of like weird um, since my previous check-in on Monday. And by weird, I mean like, I don't know, it was just kind of bouncing around. It went up a little bit. It was kind of just hovering. So I was like, oh shit, the coach is going to add something or take something away. So it was correct. And he's like, yeah, um, we don't want to see stagnation already. So he dropped my calories. It's like 1250 something. And again, disclaimer, I'm not going to say this every time, but like disclaimer guys, like I have a coach doing this for me. This is a planned strategic cut phase. This is not how you should be living your life. Don't be a 12 hour calories regular. It's stupid. All right. Disclaimer over. So, um, he dropped my protein from 150 to 145 because I mean, quite honestly, I weigh less and my protein target has been 150 since May. And it's January. Um, so, and I was, I weighed about like 150 then. I weigh like 135 now. So, anyway, so he lowered my protein to 145. 
And he lowered my carbs from 110 to 100 already. Already. <laughs> Which is fine. That's what I signed up for. Um. Oh, and he increased my daily steps from 10,000 to 11,000. So we upped my activity, which increases my output, and we decreased my intake. So that's what we did. Um, I also think my weight was moving around because uh, my cycle started on like Thursday. So I always tend to hold water, most women do. So that probably has something to do with it, but like mine is so irregular, I never know what's coming. So it's like, we didn't know. Um, I also started my other thyroid medication on Wednesday. Um, and that's been going well. So between getting some of that like premenstrual like water weigh off and adjusting my calories and increasing my steps and starting that medication, we saw some drops again. So um <laughs> I actually can't look at it on my phone because I'm filming on my phone, but I will show the weights, the change in weights over here. Um, and today I believe I was 133 and some change when I got up. So three pound loss since I started two weeks ago. Maybe. See what tomorrow is, but um, yeah, so progress has been made there. Um, I was going to do progress picks, um, but it didn't occur to me until a couple hours ago, and I'd already eaten and drank a bunch of water and all that stuff. So at some point, I will do some progress picks and do a side by side. I doubt anything super noticeable yet, but we're just gonna document it. Um, <coughs> Let's see, I have not been sleeping well because of this bronchitis situation, so that my recoveries have not been great. But overall, I feel okay. My energy cell levels are still fine. Um, my hunger levels are not bad at all. I'm just spacing my food out a little bit differently and um, drinking more fluids because that keeps you fuller. So I really haven't been like hangry yet so I know I showed you the clip last night we hosted a dinner party um I didn't want to record during the party because like it was for work and not everybody wants to like be on YouTube and whatever and I wanted to be in the moment because it was cool we had a private chef come over and do all the cooking which I love hosting a dinner party when I don't have to do the cooking. Like, I can do this anytime. So, <coughs> I was very busy getting ready for that, which actually worked in my favor because um, I was behind in my macros by the time we were starting. So, actually, like a half hour before he started, and I think I show this, I had like a chicken and Brussels meal. Um, that way, I wouldn't be crazy hungry and tempted to have stuff that was on the menu that would not <coughs> have been on plan. <coughs> oh, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> Brady! Hey, leave the cat alone. Stop it. Anyway, um, I'll put the menu up here. So what I did eat, and again, like my perspective is like I planned this dinner for them several months ago and I knew I would probably be in prep, but like just because I'm in prep doesn't mean I can't live and doesn't mean like other people around me can't either. So, um, I'm fine. Um, I drank my sparkling water in a fancy wine cup and that was cool for me. Um, they are people from work, so they know they know what I'm doing. They know my normal eating, so it was no big deal for them. They're like, oh, it's her, you know. But um, there was some of the portions were really reasonable, so I could try things without being like ridiculous. So um, 
there was like a hot chicken thing, so but it was grilled hot chicken. So it was grilled chicken. It was just seasoned. So I could have that. And it was on like an itty bitty cracker. So fine, have that. And there was like cilantro or something on top. So it was delightful. Um, I tried, yo, I tried the fish. I am not a fish eater. And I was like, well, I've never had it made by like a real chef. So like maybe it won't taste so fishy. He made a snapper with like a panko breadcrumb crust or something like that. And like, I tried to like it. I did. It took everything in my power to get like one bite down. And I was just like, no. So it was very easy to not overeat that because it, I, no. Um, there was pasta. I didn't want pasta. I wouldn't have eaten that pasta normally. That wasn't an issue. Um, I purposely put this. It's like a Brussels sprout, everything bagel salad thing that he made. So that was perfect for me. It was veggies um, and like vinaigrette. So I have that. Um, and then it was a filet. Filet is a lean cut of beef. So that was fine. And it was a normal size I would normally get. It was a six ounce one. Um, there was some squash puree something or other, but again, I don't like squash normally. I dip my like finger in it just to taste it. I wouldn't have eaten it anyway, so I didn't miss out. And there was mushrooms. I don't really eat mushrooms very much, so that wasn't difficult to forego. And then the dessert was um, some version of PB and J, which it had the flavors of it, but it was definitely not like peanut butter and jelly. Um, but like, I'm not a dessert person, so I had literally zero interest, zero in even eating it. So it was not difficult. I actually, um, I did hand portion tracking with what I had and I actually was under for the day. So I was able to have some pineapple before I went to bed. Um, didn't get crazy hungry, was fully satisfied and had a good time. So like, you can be on a diet and you can still go out to eat or you can eat fancy stuff. Like... It's fine. You just have to plan and make conscious decisions. That was cool, though. Um, so I was proud of myself that that all went really well. Um, last part today. So today, today I did my leg workout with one of my buddies. He had been a client. Um, he won one of my challenges, and we just have sort of stayed in touch and. We each like to have a workout partner every now and then, but so he came to do my leg day with me this morning. It was great seeing him. We were able to talk and stuff like that, but I don't know what this dog is doing over here. Hey, Franny, what are you doing? She's up to no good. Um, but I found that I couldn't focus as much, so. Like, I like having a workout partner, but I, I just felt like it was it was harder for me to focus. And I was still doing the right amount of weight and the right amount of reps, but I didn't feel like I had as good of a mind-muscle connection because I was, like, distracted, like we were talking, you know? So, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to do that again. I don't know. How, we'll figure it out because it's nice to have a partner and someone doing it with you, too. So, I don't know. I'm just going to have to try harder I guess um <laughs> but anyway I did some walking on the treadmill and then I actually sat my ass down for a little bit watched some YouTube felt awesome and I was like I'm gonna go get done what I need to get done and then like the rest of today I can just kind of fiddle around with stuff so took my daughter with me to Whole Foods to get I mostly get like my produce there and some of like my sausages or proteins um, because they have specific brands and stuff that I don't find out other places. So, um, I don't know. For some reason, it felt so crowded in there. It was like 11 o'clock on a Sunday. And I've been in there around that time on a Sunday. And, like, there's more people in there. But I don't know. Like, I was so anxious. Like, I don't know. It's like when you have to, like, you have to park your cart to go and get over to something because you can't get your cart in there. And then, like, everywhere you turn, you're, like, trying. I don't know. It was, 
I felt like the walls were fucking closing in on me. And I was just like, oh my God. And then, I don't know, they start turning on a vacuum or something. Like, who vacuums at a grocery store on the weekend when you're the most busy? I don't understand. But it was, it was just, I, I was so overstimulated. Like, I legit considered just bailing and leaving my cart and just going. But I knew I needed the stuff, so... I don't know. Did anybody else have this happen? Like, I have anxiety. If you've met me, you've met me. Um, I'm on Lexapro. It took me a long time to admit that I needed to be on it because I didn't want to look like I couldn't handle something. But I needed to do it for the people around me. Um, but, like, this came on, like, a freight train in Whole Foods. And I was just, like... I could not get out of there fast enough. And it was just everywhere you turned. I, it wasn't as much aggravation because I'll get that too. It was just like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but it was, it was just too much. Like I had, I just had to get away from them. And then I was like, okay, once we got out of the produce section, I was like, all right, it's going to be better. Like that's just where everyone's all going crazy and, and around things. But then, like, in the aisles, they're restocking. Like, who does this in the middle of a Sunday when you have the most people? I don't know. But anyway, it was just carts going by. And then, like, the Amazon shoppers that are shopping for people, which I don't complain about those. I'm usually the one who does it. Um, but, like, I don't know. And then we got to check out. And it was, like, everyone decided to check out at the, whole, the same time. Like, as we were going through the aisles... Checkout was fine. It wasn't backed up. And then we got to the time for a checkout and there was like lines of people to check. I don't know. It was so weird. It was like about a holiday weekend or something. Um, it was nuts. Like, I just legit needed to not be around people. It was too, I don't know. I can't do it. But... Anyway, I felt really, really anxious in there, and <sighs> yeah, I don't feel stressed out at all. Like, I don't, I, we weren't on a time crunch. Nobody was being rude or anything. It was just their literal presence, so I don't know. Oh, as you can see, I'm eating on my bed. Okay, the dog's trying to eat this, so, um, because I legitimately, like, have to come in here and to just regroup. So, like, I'm folding clothes in here and watching YouTube and eating. I'm like, move it. I don't know. Uh, if the reel was hitting me hard. So, anyway... I got my posing check-in back from the other day and she said it was the best one I have sent so far and that there were no adjustments that she was sending right now and we just keep practicing the way it was. So that was super exciting because um, I feel like, I think I said this before, I feel like once I fix one thing then like I fuck up something else because I stopped thinking about it so. <coughs> it's actually been feeling really good. Um. But yeah, the rest of today, I am I'm just going to be doing laundry and, like, watching some stuff on TV while I do it. Plus, by the way, by the way, if you do your laundry standing up, if you're folding standing up, you get in so many steps. Like, life hack right here. Don't sit down and do your laundry. Stand up. So, I'll stand on the edge of the bed or next to the edge of the bed and I will fold I'll put the clothes on the bed and I will stand and fold. But just all that back and forth and putting it in the piles and blah, blah, blah. So many fucking steps, guys. I'm not going to have any trouble hitting my step goal if I only walked on a treadmill like 20 minutes. So the rest of the 11,000 was just coming from regular movement. So anyway. um, <coughs> <coughs> That's my update, I guess. I check in with my coach tomorrow. Tomorrow is the beginning of week three of prep. Um, oh, 
Hoping he's happy with how things went since we did our changes on Thursday. And I'm kind of thinking as long as my weight looks around the same tomorrow, he'll probably leave my plan the same and see where I'm at on Thursday. So we'll see if that's what he says, but that's my update for right now. Like I said, I didn't, honestly, I didn't even want to like film this, but I knew I had to. This is like the real emotion of it, but I really didn't want to talk. Like I just wanted to like pull inside my little crazy ass shell and hang out in my bedroom and not talk to people after my experience at the grocery store. So that's that. I'm going to regroup and recharge my battery. All right. That's all for this episode. I will have a new video for week three. And like I said, I will share more about workouts and full day of eating, stuff like that coming up. And uh, that's about it. Comment if there's anything else you want to see um, or any anything, honestly. All right. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for updates. And just remember, evolve your body, evolve your life.